Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with humility and with the heart, and that people will listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, happy Father's Day to all the fathers joining us now. This is your day. When I say happy Father's Day, only one day of the year. The rest is Mother's Day. But alam po nyo, we cannot compare the love of a mother and a father. Oh, by the way, ah, listen to this. Free day nyo ngayon. Fathers, hindi kayo maglalaba ngayon, hindi kayo maghuhugas. <laughs> Yan. So, it's a good time to remember. And, you know, my brother, Manong Oscar, sent me a, a video about the arowana fish. Interesting. So, the, the female arowana fish would lay the eggs. And then, the male arowana fish would get them all, the eggs, into the mouth. And you know what? And then, whenever all the eggs are inside the mouth, the male arowana would not eat for the next 50 days to take care of those eggs. And all this he does silently and quietly. At mga kapatid, maybe ganun po ang pagmamahal ng isang ama. Not as expressive, not as uh, clear as a mother would love. But a father's love is real, it is present, although often quiet and hidden. Thank you, fathers. Today we honor God, our loving Father. We honor and remember our own earthly Father. Your Papa, your Daddy, your Tatai. And we honor all fathers. And alam po niya yung Father are all those who, who have the responsibility. That includes uh, priests, government officials, those who lead. Those who are they're responsible to protect, to nurture, and guide. So lahat po yun, sama na po natin. All in. Sana all. Yan. And siguro these days, tama-tama yung, yung thought na parang silent. Maybe some of you have asked the same question dito naman po sa mga apostles, disciples. Lord, do you not care? We're already... Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? You must have asked that. Lalong-lalo na ngayong pandemic. Natutulog ba ang Diyos? Dami nang namamatay? See, well, normal lang po. Tao lang po tayo. We ask, we question. But I hope you cross over from fear to faith. Cross over. Tatawid po. Naalala ko po yung kwento naman ng isang uh, magpinsan. First time pumunta sa Manila yung pinsan niya, pinapasyal niya. Nung nakita niya yung, yung mga daanan ng mga kotse, Uy, kuya, ang dami pala ditong overfly. Huwag ka maingay, anong overfly? Nakakahiya ka. Fly over, ang tawag dyan. Ay, ganun ba? Opo, nakita na naman yung tawiran mga tao. Wow, ang daming pass over. <laughs> overpass ang tawag dyan. See? 
passing over, crossing over. Ito po ang hingin natin ngayon sa Panginoon. Help us to go over, pass over, fly over our fears towards faith. Natutulog ba ang Diyos? No. It's interesting, ha? Tulog si Jesus. Yung mga disciples, Panginoon, in fact, kung itatranslate po natin, wala ka bang pakialam? Eh, mamamatay na tayo dito. Kala nyo, ginising pa nila. Interesting. Siguro kung si Jesus lang ay kwan, pinagalitin niya sila. Hindi ho eh. Ang unang sinabi ni Jesus, pumunta na siya, be still. Quiet. Be still. He calmed the sea. Hindi niya pinagalitan agad yung mga disciples. Kung ikaw yun, ano pa kayo? Ginising pa niya ako? Bakit kayo? Ang dami na sanang ginanon. Iba po magmahal ang Panginoon. He crosses over our faults. Sabi po nila, si Lord daw, pag tinitignan niya tayo, tinatakpan na lang niya isang mata para hindi niya makita yung mga kasalanan natin, mga ganun. Tayo, pag tinitignan natin ang bawat isa, hindi tinatakpan ng mata. May magnifying glass pa, tinitignan natin lahat yung mga mali. God loves us. This is the God we believe in, mga kapatid. So, please don't forget, how do you cross over from fear to faith? The gospel will give us the clue. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was. You know how you leave from fear to faith? You must learn to leave the crowd. Go away from the noise, from the chatter, from all opinions and daming maladidinig. You must find time to be with Jesus and really listen to Him. Then, nawawala po ang fear natin then we begin to have faith. The secret is prayer. Listening prayer. Kahit anuman nangyayari, anumang sinasabi, I listen to God, then my fears are gone. Marami po sa atin this time, we have tears and fears. Tears. Lungkot hurts na broken hearted ka or uh, na walang ka ng mahal sa buhay oh my god we cry we have tears how many people in many of zoom masses I, you cannot imagine how you know may isa po namatay ang tatay nanay after a while namatay din and then yung ate niya mabuti naka survive and she is she also survived. Wholesale, household. So we are with tears and with fears. Yung takot, ano mangyayari? What will happen? Uh, marami po. What do we do? You leave the crowd and you go to Jesus. That is how we cross over from fears, from tears to faith. Jesus is with us. And there's a prayer I ask you. Please pray with me now. Just be aware of the presence of God. I call this the presence prayer. Wherever you are at this moment, just pray now. Father, you are here. Jesus, you are here with me. Holy Spirit, you are here. Father, you are here with me. Jesus, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. Mama Mary, you are here. Yes, keep that in mind. Be still and know that I am God. 
instead of panicking, instead of worrying, instead of be still and things will fall into place. Don't rock the boat. In fact, the more we question, the more we panic, the more we complain, lalong nagugulo eh. Just, just be still. I am God. That's what the Lord asked all of us today. Jesus is with us in the boat. And fear is useless. What is needed is trust. And the more you worry, the more you hurry to the cemetery. Keep that in mind, please. So, mga kapatid, Father's Day, I would like also to ask now, pwede po ba gumawa tayo ng acronym uli ng Father? Okay? At kayo po na nakasama natin in, in your own homes, you also make adjectives. What a father is. Oh, as we do this, meron din akong siguro mga anak, pagka sinabi natin tumari, Father F, ah, friend. a friend. Okay. Or, faithful. faithful. Ayan. Ha? Ayan. So, mga anak, pag sinabing friend, check. Ayan. Check nyo kung check si Father. Check. Kung hindi, sabi mo na lang, sana all. <laughs> oh, friend ba siya? Mm, sana more. <laughs> okay, let's grade it secretly or tell him. Okay, here we go. So, Father, yun na. A. Ano yung A sa Father? Affectionate. Yan. Check. Oh. Sana. Oh. <laughs> Sana all. Sana more. Yan. Eh, Bahala kayo mag-grade, ha? Ano pa? Assertive. Yan. Sana less. <laughs> yan naman. Mag- ano ba? Pwedeng kayo na mag-grade. O oh, yung T. Yan. A father is trustworthy. Mapapagkatiwala. Thoughtful. Sana all. <laughs> Sana more. O yan, maganda ba? Uh, talkative. Ay. Baka mother. Ay. <laughs> no, no, okay. Okay. So, sana less. <laughs> Ganon. So, tender. Di ba? It's a nice na- oh, father. Sid K. H. Humble. Yeah. Um, honorable. Oh, ginagalang. Ha. Honest. Ay, honest. Oh, honest. Tama, tama. That's true. Tinanong nga yung kwan ng nanay, nung kakain na sila, sabi ng nanay, before we eat, I'd like to ask you kids, who is the most obedient of all of us here? Lahat ng mga bata, si daddy. <laughs> yung daddy nila most obedient daw sa nanay. Okay, Hannes. E. You have a word for E? Mm. Hmm? And? Endearing. Endearing. Yun. Exemplary. Ayan. Ewan. Ay. Ganon. And R. Responsible. Yes. Resourceful. Ayan. Ang tatay natin. Gagawa ng paraan para may tawid tayo eh. They do everything. So, there you are. You can continue the acronyms, okay? And this is one way of defining. Well, defining, remembering our own fathers. Speaking of remembering, uh, I've said this so many times about Papa, the only thing I wished when I was a little boy was magkaroon ng bicycle. Papa, Christmas, birthday, humihingi talaga po ako. Sinasabi ko pa, Papa, kahit second hand lang po. And you know, life was hard. Papa could not afford. But you know, Papa always told me, I remember this, 
by am Jerry. Kaya mo lang. Magkakaroon din yan. And he always said, pray hard, study well, be good. Pray hard, study well, be good. Ay, magkakaroon din yan, Jerry. Alam nyo, hindi ako nagkaroon ng bisikleta. My father never gave me a bicycle. He could not afford. But my father gave me hope. He gave me a dream. He gave me something to believe in. That if I do my best, I pray hard, work, and study well, and, and be good, these things will come true. Ma magulang, I'm sure you want to give the best to your children. But sometimes it's not all these things na mabibigay mo sa kanila. Eh. Give them a hope. Give them a dream. Give them something to believe in. That is the meaning of you empower your children. Remember? Give them a fish and they live for one day. Teach them how to fish and they live forever. Yun. That's my... And I remember too, Papa, I was walking here. I sat down sa... In front of Christ the King. My park na po tayo dyan. Thank you, ha? Ang ganda po. And er- early morning, I was just looking at that castle, that seminary. I remember my man went back 1966 when my papa and mama brought me to Christ the King. I was 12 years old. Short pants. <laughs> Papa's dream was to have all the three boys become priests. So, Manong Oscar, me, and Tim, we all entered the seminary. And I remember that a week before that, may mga requirements eh. Ang isang requirement yung dental, you know, check-up. Diyos ko po, my father brought me to a small dentist somewhere in Dapitan. Pinalinis. Ang alala ko po, apat na bagang tinanggal. Just to... M- to fulfill the requirement. I was really crying. I was in pain. But my father was always there. Jerry, bayan mo lang. Kailangan yan eh. Ganun. I remember about 10 years ago, my dentist, uh, XVD Roby, Dr. Roby Montelliano, nung nakita niya yung mga feelings, father, mga old style ito, yung mga ano yun? Mercury pa ba yan? Mga bakal. Those were the same ones that were given to me in 1966. And that's what I remember again, Papa. Anyway, you, you remember, please try to remember your, what your father was to you. And many times, like the arwana, male, fish, it's the quiet, hidden ways. I was silent, but I was loving you. That is the message of our fathers. That is the message of God, our loving Father. Yeah. And, you know, when I became a priest, I could not, hindi ko po ma-spelling yung joy ni Papa. When after the ordination, yung reception room na mga family and visitors, oh, he went in and embraced me. This is my son, Father Jerry, my son, my son. The joy, the pride. Please remember our loving Father to be joyful and to be proud of each one of us. No matter what we go through, the loving Father will always be okay lang yan. You'll be alright. We can never, never measure. I was silent, but I kept on loving you. And... Uh, There's one thing too that Papa advised me. Jerry, don't forget to pray your breviary. Yung, yung prayer ng mga pare every day. And that makes sense. That really makes sense. Because as long as you keep praying the breviary, no matter how difficult sometimes and how busy you are, you know who you are. That's your number one. Uh, role to pray to your God, to pray for other people. Everything else becomes secondary. Basics, back to basics. 
And uh, I cannot forget June 23, 1987. Papa was at St. Luke's. And I watched, I was there for night and day. I was begging God, Lord, let my Papa leave. He's only 65. He had the aneurysm near the kidney. He's a good man. I was even bargaining with God. Ha? Sabi ko, Lord, ito nga po, nagpari na po ako, missionary pa ako sa Korea. Kung pwede lang. Alam mo na, paano tayo mag-bargain kung minsan? Sana naman that my papa live. And then, you know what? I did this. I nag standby po ako sa emergency room tuwing gabi para may, may darating na may sakit. Ako na nag nag palagi. Hoping, hoping na sana Lord save my papa. But you know, papa died 3 p.m. June 23. It was difficult for me. Medyo nagtampo nga ako kay Lord. But in the end, I said, Thy will be done. It's interesting too. All that time I was there, my brothers and sisters, we, we take turns. But at the time of his death, that was the only time I left and went to Catholic trade, Manila, because Father June de Ocampo told me, Jerry, lika muna, masyado ko nang kwanjan. So I had a meal with the confers. When I came back, tinatanggal na yung mga kwan. Only my sister Bing was there. Parang ganun yata rin daw eh. They leave us. They choose the people. They somehow want to be there. Anyway, and maybe this is where I'd like to end. I'd just like to say, hey, please learn to forgive. If you need to forgive your own father. Wala pong perfect father. Only one perfect father. That is God. The rest all have flaws and paws. But as you grow on, please learn to say, well, my father, see, you see more the love, more than the faults. Then you too have grown up. Nagtaka nga isa sabi you know, I, I am so amazed, sabi ng isang, I was it a writer. My father has grown up. After all these years, siya pala ang nag-grow up. So what are we saying? You must learn to appreciate. And for those who have no fathers, who were perhaps abandoned, or fathers left them at an early age, hey, you don't let that become a cross. There's one friend, Judd Speet. He never uh, hid this. He would share that when he was growing up in Tondo, Manila, Chad Speed, Santiago, he hated his father. He was everything, the father was everything he, he didn't like. But you know what? The effect? Naging positive. Sabi niya, I will never become like my father. So lahat ng mali ng father niya, tinanggal niya at ginawa niya yung tama. So, even that cross can become something that will lift you up. So, what does it mean? You come to terms with yourself. You forgive whoever have wronged you. And you go on. And there was one time too. Somebody is texting and uh, emailing me about Galit na galit siya sa Diyos. I've been good, Father. I've always, lahat ng scriptures, sinabi niya. I tried to say something. No, Father, no. I don't believe this God is cruel. In the end, I prayed, and all I answered in the end was, Sorry, patawarin mo ng Diyos kung masyado kanyang nasaktan. Period. That's all. What more can I say? And I think that's where grace made an opening. Those of you who are suffering, please forgive God kung, kung kailangan. And don't even think that God is uncaring. Have you no faith? 
Let me end with a song from Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. The song, Teach. And the line of the song says, And you of tender years can't know the fears your elders grew by. So please help them with your youth. They seek the truth before they can die. Yes, nobody's perfect. Our fathers are not perfect. None of us is perfect. But still, let us try to be like our heavenly loving Father as long as we can, while we still can. So, we're just filled with gratitude. As we bow our heads, we honor God, our loving Father. We remember and love and thank our earthly Father and forgive if necessary. And we pray for all fathers that they, and also for all fathers who are called to lead to protect, to teach, to guide yes, to provide government officials priests, leaders, whoever that we all become more like Saint Joseph, foster Father of Jesus, the silent, quiet, loving, humble Father. And now, let us profess our faith 